All right, greetings and salutations. Welcome back to another Power Query tutorial by me, James, your BA Sensei. Continuing on our last video where we looked at dynamic um, merging, we're going to use the same function, which was table dot column names, to do dynamic expansion of tables um, that you basically append. How do you expand on that? So let's quickly look at the data set. So we got three data sets. The first one has got the product and the product category. The second one has the category, but it's got a subcategory and an extra column. And the third one has a region that none of the others have. So how do we dynamically, if I add a column or delete a column here, and I just press refresh, I just want it to reflect without hard coding anything in my expansion. How do I do that? Okay, cool. So let's head on over. I'm going to shut this down. We're going to quickly open an Excel spreadsheet here and we're going to say connect to that data set. First of all, we're going to say get data from workbook of the year. Cool, we're connecting. Good sign, I click over there. I say transform data. It's going to pull it into Power Query. Uh, we know we're looking for tables. We just filter out the tables. The thing we're interested in is the data and the item. And we can say remove the other columns. So as you can see, as I click on that, it gives you the contents of each table. So the first table had the region, the second table had the subcategory in the extra column, and the third one only had the category. Okay, so you can see they're all different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new column, say custom column. Let's call this um, table column columns, and we're going to use the table function. So I'm just going to quickly show you. We're going to use this function, table.column names. All right, I'm going to be like table, table dot column names. And I'm going to feed, I hate it when it does that, it adds a double table. I'm going to feed it the data object. Okay, cool. So I'm going to say excellent. So now you can see we have a list, a list of each. And it gives you a breakdown of the columns of each of those. You can see that list of uh, let's go back list of that you can see the difference between them okay so I'm going to expand that I'm going to say expand to new rows all right the only column I'm really interested in is this one so what can we do there we can just how do we isolate that we just put that in brackets and we put the column name in there we call it table column and that's going to isolate that for us. Another thing we want to do is we want to make a distinct list of this. So we're going to use the list function called list.distinct. So we're going to say list.distinct. And I just threw away everything. Do a list.distinct over there. And that's going to give us a distinct list across all three tables that we wanted to bring in. All right, so what we're going to do is it's a little bit complicated now. So this is the complicated bit where we create a nested query within a query. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to home. We're going to open advanced editor. I'm going to create some space, created some space between uh, the removed um, other columns where we just removed everything and then where we actually start running um, the add columns where we added the custom column. Okay, and then uh, identifying a list of distinct column names. So what we're going to do is, as you can see in Power Query, everything starts with the let, and then it has the code, and then it ends with the in, and then the last step refers to the previous step. So what we're going to do is we're going to write a inner query. So this is going to be as simple as all. We're going to give it a name. Yes, names equals let you can see now we're creating a let within that sphere and i'm going to end this with a in yes so i'm nesting it and we're going to end with expanded column names and then because if you look at this now this this query is going to ignore this inner query it's just it's not going to work so it needs to take off from this and we need to initiate that. There we go. 
So now we're sitting there and you can see each of these, if I click on this, it, it has a nested let function. All right. So now I'm going to go back one step, go back one step, and I'm actually going to expand. I'm going to say insert. Cool. Not expand it, but I'm going to drag it down. It's going to break the query. I'm going to drag it down to below because why would it break? Because it has no reference. So this new step that we added has no reference of um, what, what, what came before. So what we first need to do is we need to feed it this expanded column over here. Yeah, that's correct. This all column names, we need to take that out. We need to put um, removed other columns in there. I'll put that in there. And I'm going to take away this hard coding we have over here. So this whole hard coding, that's a dynamic list we created. I'm just going to delete this hard coded column list. And that is actually just the all column names. And this also, we just put the all column names in there. And that should end with that data over there. And if I said, okay, now we have a list, a dynamic query that reads from, let's call this dynamic expand. Okay, a little bit complex, I know. We bring it back, we have that. So let's quickly add some logic. I'm just quickly gonna take the item out. We don't need the item, remove the item. Let's bring that back. Okay, so now let's go to our table. Let's add something here, um, test three. Let's make that uh, region sub five and blank column. So we're adding a lot of data there. I'm going to save this. And now if I rerun this, it's going to press refresh, press refresh. It should bring all of those columns. See, it just changed the changed everything according to what we changed. So we never ever have to go back and hard code anything. Our expansion is completely dynamic based on what happens in the source.